So Panthana, we were talking about the printing of your books. Distribution is it a big challenge in Goa, or you know, you you have your own models? I know. Since my books are are, uh, are appealing to everybody, it's not a scholarly books yeah. which only scholars will buy, or not some kind of textbook which only students will right. buy. I usually keep it where uh, besides the main book stalls, I keep it uh, in other places like handicrafts, I see. where uh, the tourists who come they also pick my books there. I keep it at museums. Uh, I see. So these are some of the places I keep, and. Uh, but we do need uh, to find alternative ways of marketing books in Goa because uh, the market is small. Yeah, uh, I think we had touched this point subject earlier. We have to uh, get our government agencies to use some kind of to use their premises, say in the Ravindra Bhavan in Kala Academy, to have a permanent kind of a stall yeah, there. Yeah. For Goa-based books, uh, written by Goans preferably, yeah. so that the the Goans are encouraged to do uh, this kind of thing. Instead of everybody running on the ships and getting money, it's time that people uh, sow seeds of some intelli intelligence in, in, yeah. in Goa and let some people at least come and do this kind of work. So Your own background has been in, in engineering. My, yeah, I worked as a, as a construction engineer for 18 years. I see. I've done around 35 jobs. And uh, the reason I, I deviated was... Uh, deviated might be a strong uh, word. Maybe you just took an option. Uh, uh, I was always... There was a lot of money in construction, but there wasn't much satisfaction I see. in terms of... Uh, like I was constantly with my... They say the job satisfaction is inversely proportionate to the kind of money, money. earning. That seems to be true. Uh, I had just a few clients. I had a lot of workers. I see. And... Uh, that's it. There was no social yeah. life. There was no. How did friends. you discover your your talent in photography? Actually, uh, when I was in school, uh, my parents used to always encourage me with uh, books. Uh, I see. I remember one ship had come to Vasco when I was very young. Logos. When I was in when I was in the primary. M V Logos. I don't remember the name. It was a beautiful. The huge Bible ship. ship. Not Bible ship. No. No, that is Bible is recent. Okay. This was. When I was very young, uh, maybe in first or something like that. 1970s. Uh, yeah. Early 70s. No. So, no. Okay. Yeah. And this ship had a, a cartload of uh, books, especially children's books. And my parents took all of us there. And no, no, the same thing. The same thing we are talking about. No, it was this it book, this ship which had come recently, okay. that was a smaller ship with a lot of biblical books. Yeah. It was called Dollars or something. B Logos. Logos. L-O-G-O-S. And, uh, and the price was in... Uh, Dollars. D O L O U S dollars. Yeah. Okay. 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 Not dollars. Okay. 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 It, it was a ship's currency. I see. Ship. Had, you had to exchange your money for the ship's money, and I you see. had to buy it. That was recent. That I went there. Okay. But they were mostly biblical books. Okay. Whereas this was, you know, uh, American books, and I they see. were especially Ellen Blyton books. I see. And my parents somehow bought a huge uh, load of those okay. books, and it had a lot of pictures. So I see. It got me into reading. Okay. My sisters also got into that habit. I see. And uh, that was how I started my liking for books. Then, uh, since they were inclined to to give us this kind of intellectual food, yeah. Uh, when I wanted a camera, I managed to get money from my mother, and I was I got had a camera which had a zoom. Yeah. When I was still in school, I think so. What those days only Agfa it cameras was, uh, it was or we had an Agfa box one. Yeah. Which I couldn't use. It was a large format film, but yeah. Uh, this one was easier. This was one one ten. One ten. Flat hot shot. Okay. With a zoom. I see. And uh, a flat camera having a zoom is something rare. I see. But that one slot zoom could make my photographs very creative. I see. So uh, then when Polytechnic, when I went, we went for a tour. Yeah. Uh, our third year, we had to go for a technical tour. We went to Bangalore and Mysore and okay. all that. The, photo, the pictures I shot, yeah. I spent around five rolls, which yeah. was a huge yeah. money for me yeah. then. Yeah, in those days. They were really amazing. That I time see. I realized that I see. Uh, after people told me that these photographs are good. I see. And they were used in the college magazine and all I that. I see. And then uh, the final proof that they were good came when somebody robbed all my albums. <laughs> <laughs> I and see. I was totally shattered. Shattered. But then, uh, uh, okay, it told me that they were good, so someone robbed them. <laughs> so that was how my I see and simultaneously I used to write already in the Navin times I used to write middles okay and with the money I used to again buy books etc I see, I so see. That Recycle was, it. I was plowing the money which was earned by the pen back into buying more so books. it must have been quite a challenge to jump from construction into writing in that sense no uh, but there is a lot of talent moving into writing because it's highly creative and highly satisfying and satisfying and the kind of uh, when you, when you introduce as a contractor as a rich contractor to yeah. some people 
I mean, uh, okay, you are just a contractor. Another contractor. Just a rich contractor, probably a rogue. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> This one is again. Introduce as a writer and with kind of social status, some yeah. good uh, books. People uh, see you in a different light. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which uh, yeah. is good It's because uh, it, uh, yeah, it is encouraging and it tells us that money. I mean, th- that that particular what you see in their eyes can be bought by money. So when do you plan to join the Goa Writers Group? As soon as this book is launched, I will be inviting the Goa Writers members there and probably from that day. because now i am uh, it's your whole and soul your your projects are few and far between but you take them very seriously and they are all big projects uh, yeah i i cons- i focus on them i uh, see that they are like this I is see. my 10th dummy each dummy i have kept I improving the dummy cost me almost 3500 rupees each each, each, each so you can imagine how much i spent on oh. the dummies and then every time i do a dummy i give it to some new person to read it take out some uh, uh, oversight okay, or something okay, uh, okay, okay, which okay, others okay, haven't uh, okay. been able to pick up So I try to improve yeah. it. Each book takes you like one year, two years, three years. Uh, oh. This one, the last book was published in two thousand six. That is a uh, hundred. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now hundred, hundred, hundred go on experience. Hundred go on experience. From then onwards, I have been working on this uh, book on culture. So yeah, these two are parallel. Parallel, yeah. That book okay. is uh, has to be still uh, fine tuned. Okay, okay, okay. So that will be how many pages? That will be at least two fifty pages. Large size. Mm, yes. So you have a lot of interest in the cultural aspect uh, of Goa, cultural history. Uh, uh, what happens is uh, every time I go and see some place, uh, once I do parallel study of the Catholic and the Hindu. What happens after the Zatra and the feast? Now, uh, uh, after inst- in a sense, after in a sense, uh, say let's say, uh, Sapta yeah, in Vasco. Yeah, yeah. I uh, Sapta is uh, I mean the the family responsible for them is the Joshi's family who who is supposed to be the family with which the sapta started yeah so their family there was a plague there and, uh, and there was a problem so uh, people approached their family because they were supposed to be the doctors why the sapta I time see. and a delegation was sent by the by the people to ask uh, lord damodar about to give a solution so damodar uh, told them to yeah. be hygienic be, be hygiene oriented get yourself get your village cleaned up of all the mess yeah and things will solve by itself which is which was promptly done and as soon as hygiene came to that place uh, uh, this plague disappeared this is in the 1900s so this is uh, that uh, that is okay. my thing in this right now parallelly at uh, konsua which is in the neighborhood of vasco yeah they have a feast called a sopancha and sopani san yeah it's a far lady uh, after the feast and the church has closed its doors the san is a broom and the yeah, soup yeah, is, is yeah but interestingly after the religious items are over the yeah. church doors are closed yeah there is a large lady statue outside yeah and the queues of people offering a broom and a soup I now see. these are the items of hygiene i see the broom is to, used to sweep and the soup is used to collect the dirt yeah yeah, yeah. okay so again we are talking about hygiene here yeah and uh, our lady is supposed to have come and swept the whole place yeah. of the fever yeah uh, symbolically of the dirt i see and thrown it off i see so uh, He, this is how the catholics do it that's how the hindus do it yeah, yeah, yeah. and find, so i find that there are a lot of parallels, parallels and a lot of similarities like i have shown people uh, rocking uh, krishna in a cradle hoping to get a child yeah and on the other page i have shown minin jesus yeah again people flock there for a child finally yeah. uh, the people are the same same goans yeah backgrounds are the same we were finally same uh, people some 500 years ago and only thing is the manifestations are different so yeah. i want to get to the bottom mini jesus is actually uh, clad or without clothes on or he is uh, a baby child he is a baby but they, they the actual statue is uh, uh, is completely clothes. naked but they clothe him with uh, clothes a lot of us have those icons in the family you know it's passed on to the daughters or daughter in laws yeah yeah baby the yeah. ivory guy made of ivory yeah, yeah yeah that we also had it but i didn't I know what was the significance of that it and it has disappeared and i found it at my sister's house that day this is of course unofficial <laughs> anyway so, what so from here ne- where next uh, next i still <laughs> if you talk to people uh, uh, any people normal people so there's a lot of there's a big uh, gap there's no knowledge about the hinterland because no one moves yeah, into yeah, the hinterland yeah, yeah yeah i being fortunate that my work takes me to the hinterland yeah I I find that uh, things are really moving at a nice at their own pace. Everything is clean. There's yeah. no 
there's no garbage there's no uh, you don't see any barren areas everything is green clean uh, so i want to show get those get a focus on these villages so that people can go there and see so i have a dream where my i'll ha- i want to have a entire goa on a kind of an album I in see. volumes so I that see. you just open it and you see, see the, all the villages today if you want a reference yeah. to a village there's nothing so i want to have a book where every village is listed there is some kind of a criteria okay, what is there in I the see. village what kind of what is the speciality what is every all those are my long term uh, thanks long-term thanks and all the best